Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a super easy and delicious banana blueberry bake. This makes the perfect breakfast, it's really easy to make, and it's even really healthy. So let's get right into this recipe. So the ingredients you'll need are oats. I'm using gluten-free oats because I can't have gluten, but either way is fine. Baking powder, cinnamon, salt, bananas, obviously. You need about three medium bananas or two large bananas. Blueberries, and I'm using frozen blueberries. It's it's fine if they're frozen, you don't have to thaw them out beforehand. Milk, honey, eggs, butter, and vanilla extract. And that's all the ingredients you need. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and grease whatever kind of pan you're going to use. An 8x8 baking dish works really well for this. But today I'm using my cast iron pan. This is a 10 inch across cast iron and it's already been greased because I made pancakes in it this morning. It's already ready to go. I generally for using cast iron for baking or for, for anything for that matter, but if you don't have cast iron, 8x8 baking dishes work really well too. So I have a mixing bowl here and I'm just going to put the three bananas in it and mash them up. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of milk, a quarter cup of honey, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And one egg to that and make sure it's really well combined. And then I'm going to add two and a quarter cups of the oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to mix all that up and make sure there's no clumps of anything. And then I'm going to add one cup of the blueberries and mix that up too. And then you just take the mixture and you pour it into your baking dish and smooth it out so that it's one flat even layer. And then what I really like to do, because really you can never have too much butter in my opinion, it, it, it makes everything delicious, I like to take some chunks of butter, just about four or five chunks that are about a half a tablespoon each. You don't have to be too particular with it. And then you're going to bake at the 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes or until the top is set and it's just a light golden brown color. And then you just remove it from the oven and just allow it to cool 10 to 15 minutes before you eat it. You can either eat it right then while it's still warm or you can seal it up and put it in your refrigerator to have the next day, which is actually what I'm doing right now. It is the afternoon right now, but I'm making this breakfast I have tomorrow morning so that I don't have to worry about making anything tomorrow. And then tomorrow, once we want to eat breakfast, I will just preheat the oven to 350 degrees again and pop it back in for just like 15 minutes or so until it's warm and it is ready to go. And it seems to be just as good if you do it that way as if you eat it fresh. Like it's, it's really good either way. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and maybe give you some inspiration for an easy and healthy breakfast idea. This is one of our favorite go-to recipes and I feel comfortable with our whole family eating it, even my one-year-old who has only been eating food for a little while. If you're interested in seeing more baking videos, I will link my baking playlist down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!